Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Hey guys, thanks for coming over to my birthday. No problem, Penny. I'm so excited for your birthday party. We're going to have so much fun at this sleepover. I can't wait. Be evil. I'm so excited. My nanny is home just in case anything goes wrong, but I'm sure we'll all be super safe. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong in a Roblox story? <laughs> go ahead and explore the house and get comfy. First things first, where's the kitchen? Molly, you're always thinking about the kitchen. Hi, nanny. I got any snacks. Huh? 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 Molly, how about, how about we don't have so many snacks? How about, how about we just like explore the house and... How about you mind your own business? I'm, I want to have a snack, okay? I already went into the living room. Let's go up the stairs. Oh man, I ran out of time. Hello kids, I'm the nanny. You can call me if you need anything, dears. Oh, well, I need a cupcake, an ice cream sundae. Molly, we're going to celebrate Penny's birthday with cake. Ha, ah, you heard my request then, Nanny. Please take a seat at the kitchen table and we'll all have cake together. Perfect. Mm, this is going to be delicious. I just know it. You and luck, Molly, that they're serving cake at this birthday party. What would you do without your sweets? I don't know. Probably cry. Ooh, cake. And my favorite kind, too. Guys, this is the best birthday ever. Thank you so much. And the cake. Mmm, it's delicious. Mmm, yum. Should we open your presents next, Penny? Yeah, what'd you get? What'd you get, huh, Penny? Not so fast. You guys have to help clean up the birthday decorations. Uh, that's weird because the birthday's not over yet. After that, you guys can go open presents. Yeah, but you're supposed to open the presents... Before you... Okay, never mind. I'm just going to eat some... I'm just going to eat some cake. Mm. Oh, that is good cake. Mm. Molly, we've got to pick up these decorations. Well, Penny can't open a present. Well, I just think that's ridiculous because you're supposed to leave the decorations up until the birthday is over. Oh, there's still a lot more. There's still like three more we have to get. Um, I think that's all of them, guys. Time to open Penny's presents. These are awesome gifts. Clothes and cool toys. I feel like the luckiest girl ever. This is going to be the best sleepover of my life. I have to agree. You did get a lot of really cool presents, Penny. And your sleepover's pretty amazing. Especially since you have to eat the second piece of cake. Buddy, you're such a piggy. It's late, kids. You need to go to bed. Um... Nanny, it's 9 o'clock. You can stay up all night as long as you're in your room. Have a fun sleepover. That's more like it. Uh, okay, now I gotta get up to the room super quick. We only got 30 seconds. The floor is lava in 23. Molly, that's a different game. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Whoa, she set it up for all of us. That's awesome. Um, I'm picking this bunk because if something tries to get us in the night, I'll be the farthest from the door. <laughs> I claimed this bed. We're not actually sleeping, right? It's a sleepover. We're supposed to stay up all night. Yeah, of course we are. Although your hat is a little creepy, I have to say. <laughs> You look like that monster from Stranger Things. Of course we're not sleeping. We're doing an all-nighter. Just waiting till Nanny falls asleep. I wonder what secret present your Nanny got you. Yeah, Penny, I wonder. You guys, you want to go look for the secret present? Yeah, of course I do. Molly, don't be a, tr a troublemaker. Well, I'm picking that we sneak down and find the present. You can stay in bed and be boring at the sleepover if you want, Daisy. Okay, fine. I don't care about a vote. It's my birthday, so we'll sneak out and find the present. Whoa, Penny, you sing everything too? I knew we were alike. Watch out for the loud steps on the stairway down, though. It's like floor is lava, okay? And if my nanny hears you stepping on a, a loud step, oh man, she's going to wake up and be so mad. Don't worry, I'm great at the floor is lava. Molly, no you're not. 
Okay, well, I'm trying to be good at the floor is lava. So far, I'm doing good at the floor is lava. <laughs> yes, I made it. I don't know what you're talking about, Daisy. I'm amazing at it. Look, the basement door is unlocked. I think the present is in there. But it's creepy down there. I don't want to go down there. Let's go check and see. It's my birthday, so you have to go with me. Uh, this might be creepy, Daisy, but it is Penny's birthday. So she does have a point. Looks like a big empty room to me. Uh, nanny? Ooh, what are you doing down here? I told you kids to stay in your room. Whoa, Nanny just got real creepy. This is my private area no one can know about. Oh, her teeth are red and they match her eyes. I must end you. Um, okay, time to bring out my bat. Holy macaroni. Run from Nanny. Swack, swack, swack. Come here, Nanny. Quit chasing my sister, you evil lady. That can't be the real Nanny. She wouldn't be that evil and crazy, right? I don't know, Molly, but um, I hope you have some Robux. Ah, she's stuck behind this tank. <laughs> Uh-oh, not for long. Wait, her face is back to normal, guys. What is wrong with Nanny? Nanny, I am young and sort of in shape when I don't eat too many cupcakes, and I'm probably able to outrun you. <laughs> well, she's chasing Daisy, too. I know, Molly. I'm trying to get away from her, this crazy old lady. All right, that's enough of that. Wait, where'd she go? We need to escape. There's a path. It's it's right there. Okay, Penny, Um, but just so you know, your nanny is not invited to the next sleepover. She's cray-cray. Whee! Ah, down the laundry chute. Ugh, or down in the sewer, one or the other. Oh, uh -huh. ew. Ew, we're in the sewer. Here comes the... Abby. We need to get across and climb out of you. It smells so bad. I know. Tell me about it. Melly, unplug your nose and jump. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. You died. I can revive myself by spending Robux, right? Yep. Oh, my God, guys. I can't revive myself again, though. I won't have enough money. Oh, boy. I better not die again. Are we the only ones that survived? Yeah, you, me, and Penny. There's only one way to find out what's at the top of this ladder. Go up and look. We made it out. There's a long walk ahead of us, but let's go. All right, as long as that crazy nanny's not out here. La, 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 la. Hey, where is this anyway? There's coconuts on the trees. Penny, are you coming? Who, who is that? I have no idea, but maybe they'll give us a ride back to my house. I have much more fun sleepovers than this. Hello, sweet children. You guys seem lost. Can we help you go home? Uh, these old ladies don't look trustworthy. Guys, they're old like, like our nanny. She probably sent them to kidnap us. Da, 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 and the plot thickens. Don't be silly. We're just old grandmas. We want to help. Uh, maybe I'm a little jaded, but I don't think so. Leave us alone. We don't want your help. Yeah, we can walk on our own. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. I knew it. They're evil. They threatened us. We have to fight the old ladies. Ugh, I need more cake for this. Where's all the cake? Somebody give me another piece of cake. Okay, uh, is it with the old lady? Ow! Quit, quit doing that. Ow! Okay, she's hitting me with her cane. That's just rude and wrong, and I'm just going to run. Yeah, Molly, run, because if you get hit by one of them, you don't have enough money to respawn. Then game over, Molly. And next time, have more Robux. Ah, that one's hitting me. Daisy, what am I going to do? Run, Molly, run. Oh, man, this is the end of us. I thought we could escape, but as it turns out, you're goners, Daisy. We're goners. We got them. Can't trust anyone. What do we do now, Penny? Uh, well, if you're me, you remember that you need to buy Robux before you play these games. We all have to destroy our nanny once and for all. Unless you're me, and then this game is probably over because I don't have any Robux, and um, I'm most certainly going to die. <laughs> oh, no, here comes Creepy Face again. I heard you kids want to destroy me. Such a shame. I bought you all those birthday presents. You were good kids. Yeah, you're a terrible nanny. We'll destroy you. <laughs> and you ruined my birthday. Oh, man, this is where I die, guys, because, like, look at me. Whoa, uh what's going on? Oh, mama! Whoa, oh my God, I don't want to die. Uh-oh, 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 ah! Ooh. Oh, guys, I don't think I have enough to revive. I'm out of Robux! No! Buddy, I could have told you that was going to happen. 
You know you stay here, well, Blacks. No, I don't. It's just, okay, yeah, maybe a little. Molly needs to get 440 Robux. Then she can finish the game. <laughs> what ending did I get? I got that you're poor and you can't afford Robux, so you don't get an ending ending. <laughs> That's a terrible ending. Yeah, totally. <laughs>
something creepy is going to happen. His friends reminded him that it was almost Halloween and a lot of people were pranking each other, so he should just ignore it and calm down. Bad idea. Bad idea! Kevin totally trusted his friends and realized they were probably right. This calmed him down a lot, so he decided to enjoy the rest of his walk home. Kevin arrived home just as night had arrived. He went inside. Whoa, it's super cute for Halloween. Even though it's like after Christmas. <laughs> as he was walking down the hallway towards his room, he got another text. I see you. Oh my gosh, something scary is going to happen right about now. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Wait, who are you? Okay, I thought that person was a zombie. They're just wearing a green hoodie. He was getting aggravated now and was about to text back when... Nope, I'm not going to the next screen. Sorry, I can't do it. Kevin, don't do it. Oh my gosh, look at guys. <laughs> Kevin is giving me a piggyback ride. <laughs> I don't want to. I'm not looking. Tell me what happens, guys. Okay, nothing yet. He got another text. It was a picture of the street Kevin lived on. Now Kevin started to realize this wasn't just some Halloween prank. He sat down at his computer to quickly Skype his friends, but no one was online yet. We'll text him! Just then, he got two more texts. One right after another. The first text said, I see you again. The second text was a picture of his house from his neighbor's yard across the street. Oh my gosh, Kev! Oh my gosh, look at Kev's face! He's like, whoa! He's terrified. He frantically began calling his friends, but the text started coming again. I see you! Then another picture of his house from the middle of the street. Oh my god, he's getting closer, Kev! Run! Kevin started dialing the number for the police department, but two more texts came. I see you, then another picture of his house directly out front. The police picked up and Kevin tried to explain what was happening when two more texts came. I see you, and a picture of his front door. The police said they didn't have anyone in the area, but would send someone as soon as possible. Kevin begged them to hurry, but the texts kept coming. The next one said, I see you, and a picture came right after, from the inside of his house! Ah! He told the police the person was in the house, but then... Kevin got one more text. It was a picture of him, from right in back of him. Kevin quickly spun around from his chair. I don't want to go to the next screen. It's going to be so terrifying. I'm closing my eyes. Tell me what happens. Ah! What is that? Oh my god, it was a creepy clown! But it was too late. Oh, he's got an axe. Oh no. Oh no, this isn't going to be good. Ah! There's a creepy clown! Oh my gosh! Ah, just kidding, that's not how it ends. Go to the next scene to see the real ending. Kevin got one more text. It was a picture of him from right in the back of him. Kevin quickly spun around in his chair. <laughs> and smash the intruder with his bat! Pow! Oh my gosh, look at it. <laughs> That's awesome! Who made this? This is super fun. <laughs> yeah, he beat him! The cops are like, uh, can I go get a donut now? <laughs> yeah, that was a really good one. I liked I See You. Guys, what did you think of this? Let me know in the comments section below. I'm not going to lie. I was like super afraid during this whole entire thing, but I made it. Guys, um, don't forget to subscribe to our channels too, okay? We love you guys and we love our subscribers. Um, there's also this hide and seek one. We just did the passenger last week. So you can check Daisy and I out on another video we did for the passenger on our channel. Because we did it last week. So it's already on our channel right now, guys. You can watch that one. Um, we haven't done the golden arm. We did the babysitter like two months ago. Whoa, that was creepy. And let me see what ones are over here. Wait, okay, back to the theater. Wait a minute, I'm confused. Where am I? Oh, 
okay, yeah. Um, I don't think we've done Stormy Night or the Scary Stories Ride 1 or 2. Mothman Incident or Soot. Okay, so we have a ton of these to do, guys. Let us know what you think we should do next because, um, yeah, nobody's home and this will be super creepy for me to do by myself. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye. Hey guys, welcome to my house. Hey Timmy. This is my mom. Hey mom. <laughs> I mean Timmy's mom anyway. Molly, don't be rude. I'm not, I said hi. Hey kids, it's so nice to meet you. Hi, don't mind my sister, she farts a lot. Daisy, rude. Go ahead and take a look around, get cozy. Can I jump on your coffee table if I'm collecting coins? <laughs> ay ay ay, she's something else, isn't she? I can't believe she's even my sister sometimes, Timmy. Ooh, there's coins in the drawers. Molly, you don't open the drawer at people's houses. Oh, that one didn't have anything in it. Boring. Wow, there's so many coins just laying around here. I'm going to collect all of them. Okay, Molly, well, you're probably going to be the rudest house guest ever. Guys, guess what? What, Timmy? What is it? Let's go play in my backyard before it gets dark. Okay, well, I collected all these coins. Do you want them back? No, you can keep them. Wow, thanks. Come on, guys. Let's go. We can all go in the backyard. It'll be so much fun. All right, I'm just going to chill right here. Uh, if your mom could make some cupcakes, that'd be great. But Molly, there's a playground. Uh-huh. Oh, look at your little dog. Your dog's name is Winston. <gasps> he's so cute. He's friendly. Ah, he's trying to bite me. Ah! Molly, come on. Let's play in the seesaw. Stay away from his chihuahua. He seems like he'd be in a bad mood. Why? Because he just does, okay? He doesn't want people out here enjoying when he's enjoying his peace and quiet time. You mean pooping in the yard? <laughs> ay, 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 Molly. You're being ridiculous. Well, that's what dogs do. They poo-poo in the yard. It's true. Molly, um, uh, so we have one more second and then we have to go inside. What? What are you talking about? Kids, come inside. I made dinner for everyone. See, told you, Molly. We're coming, Mom. I have to get off of this thing. Oh, Daisy, you left me up in the air. That's what I don't I don't like about the seesaw. It's like you can get left up in the air. Then what are you supposed to do? Ooh, pizza? Wow. Can I live here? Mm, delicious. Hey, quit jumping on the pizza. What's wrong with you? Ruining a perfectly good pizza with your shoes on it? Ew. It's getting pretty late, you guys. I think it's time for bed. Okay, but seriously, can I live here? Because you guys have pizza all the time, and it smells so delicious, and it's the best pizza I've ever had. Okay, Mom, we're all going to bed now. Oh, wait, here's the stairs. Okay. Whoa, it's super dark in here. It's kind of creepy. I think I might change my mind. I need a nightlight. I want to go home. I want my teddy bear. Molly, don't be ridiculous. Just go under the top bunk like you do at home and go to sleep. Okay, I'll try. I'll try, but what if I have a nightmare? What if I have a nightmare? Molly, come on. Go to sleep already. Sleep good and don't let the bed bugs bite. Wait, you have bugs here? Ew, gross, like cockroaches? Ew! 3 a.m. Bum, bum, bum. I can't sleep. Are you guys still up? Jeepers, Timmy, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. I wasn't until you said something. Yeah, we're all awake now, Timmy. Yeah, way to go, Timmy. Uh, did my TV just turn, turn on? What? Oh my gosh. It did. Did you guys hear that? Uh, I heard something creepy. What? What's going on? I don't know. Maybe you just have a short circuit. It's an incoming call. Ah! It's from a, a, a pig. And we're getting sucked into the, to the, to the, I don't know. What do we get sucked into? The TV, Daisy Dog. Are you been paying attention to this story? Yes, Molly, I am paying attention. Wait, what the? Hey, who's this guy? Hey, you can't just wake people up at 3 o'clock in the morning. That's weird. Wait, is that John Pork? Oh, my gosh. John Pork, seriously, is that you? He's not answering, Molly. He's a pig. No way. It is John Pork. Look at him. It looks just like John Pork. Okay, yeah, but he's a pig. He can't speak English. This is not cool, guys. I want to go home. But it's John Pork. It's John Pork. It's John Pork. Pork, 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 pork. No, we do. Let's stay here for a while. Molly, can you stop saying pork, 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 pork? We have no mom to boss us around. Yeah, you shouldn't boss me around either. I can say pork, 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 pork if I want. Right, John? 
John, say something. Come on, I know you want to. What's wrong with John? Um, I don't know, but hey, Timmy, quit turning the lights on and off. It's not me, I wasn't doing it. What's going on? I don't know, but maybe he's right. Maybe we should leave. Oh my God! John Pork is possessed. Big time, Daisy. Did you see his demon eyes? He wants to kill us all. Look at him down there. He is evil. Stay away from John Pork. Stay far away from John Pork. Molly, could you stop saying John Pork? No, John Pork. John Pork, John Pork, John Pork, John Pork, John Pork, John Pork. Ah, oh, John Pork's got a knife. John Pork, why are you doing this to me? Oh, he's chasing Daisy now. Ah, no, he's right behind me. God, this guy can teleport. It's crazy. Well, yeah, Molly, he's an evil demon pig. Of course he can. Holy guacamole. Now he's after Daisy. He just keeps reappearing. He took down a bunch of my life, too. Stop it! Timmy's just standing there. Of course he is. No one wants to get Timmy. Okay, I think John Pork has decided to not be crazy anymore. Guys, I think we're safe now. Well, you were safe all along. All you did was stand there, Timmy. We need to find a way out of here. Thanks, Captain Obvious. I hadn't thought of that yet. Buddy, look up there. We could go through the roof. Well, that seems like an epically bad idea. No, there's a zip line. Let's go. Yeah, she's right. There's a zip line. Come on. Oh, come on, the last one. I don't want to be the last one. The last one always dies because that's where John Pork is. Right behind you, always. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, Timmy's last good. Molly, we have to be careful. I know, I know. I'll be fine. Okay, I gotta put my bat away so I can use the zip line. Timmy? Timmy? Timmy is afraid to come up on here. Let's get out of here. You're not here, Timmy. All right, I guess we'll just use the, the zip line by ourselves. I'll see you guys on the other side. Um, okay. Whee! Oh, <laughs> this is super fun. Ooh, we're gonna get coins, too. Oh, no, I don't think you do. You have to, like, sacrifice your life to get a coin. No, thank you. Whoa, what's happened here in the city? Daisy, this doesn't look right. But there's Timmy. Hmm, and he didn't even use the zip line. Weird. That was fun! But you didn't use the zip line! Okay, glitch in the story. Looks like we can escape over there. Let's go! Oh, John poor clones! Bam, bam, bam! Hey, quit it! Quit it, my sister! She might be annoying, but she's still my sister, crazy John Pork clone. Nice work, guys. Yeah, not that you helped at all, Timmy. You're just standing there looking out over the abyss like, oh. Let's keep moving. Molly, the bridge just fell apart. Oh, no, this is where I lose all my Robux. <sighs> Great, we have to get across. Is it timed? I hope not, because that's when I do really bad. I don't think it's timed, though. Yes! We made it. Oh, the timer started now. Well, we beat that timer, Timmy. What do you think of that? Ha, ha, ha. John Pork story. Dun, dun, dun. It looks like there's mountains blocking us. Um, and also, uh, there's something crazy going on below us, too. There's an elevator we can use. Get on, everyone. I think we're already on this elevator. I don't know if I trust it, though. Watch out for those obstacles. They look like they hurt. Obstacles? Oh, boy. Oh boy, oh my gosh. I don't I don't really like this elevator. I think it's kind of crazy town. Come over here, Molly. It seems the safe is next to me. Uh, it seems like there's lava no matter where you go. What? Timmy, Timmy's having a problem. Okay, this is the strangest elevator I've ever been on. What's this all about anyway? Oh boy, there's some lava. Yep, Daisy, don't get into that lava. You'll die. I don't, Molly. I'm doing my best. I'm just trying to avoid everything. Yeah, but the lava keeps rising. Okay, I don't, I don't really understand here. Stay on the elevator and watch for obstacles. Over here, Molly. This is the best place to be. Okay, did we make it? I, I think we did. Look at Timmy. He's just floating in the, in the sky. Nothing can hurt Timmy. He's invincible. Okay, now the elevator works, except for my sister's head is stuck. Oh my gosh, Daisy, don't die. I can't live without you in this game, Daisy. John Pork, he'll get me. Molly, I'm fine. I'm right here. John Pork's lair. Dun, 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 dun. Whoa, we made it across. Oh, boy. Um, There's lots of tombs here. Probably a bad idea. I'm going down. Molly, no. But I wonder what's down there. Come on, let's go look. Whoa, it's like an abyss. There's only one way to find out. You guys go first. Yeah, I thought you were going to say that. Okay, well, let us go. Oh, it's like Survivor in here. Holy guacamole. Okay, yeah, I see this. Epic shot, epic shot, epic shot. What? 
Get safely across to the other side. Well, uh, in 29 seconds. Uh oh, Daisy. This is where I lose my Robux. You can do this, Molly. I have faith in you. Thanks, Daisy. I hope you're right. Oh my god. No! Don't kill me, please. Oh god. I just got taken out. That was bad. And I died again. How many times can I die? Oh my gosh. I died. All right. I gotta revive myself. 35 Robux. Are you kidding me? Just kidding. I have to do it, guys. I have to. Oh, I made it to the other side. Isn't that convenient? <laughs> oh, Bula, though, Molly. I'm gonna go collect these coins before you guys can. Come on. It's time to go. Great job, guys. Thanks, Timmy. Mr. I don't do anything. Looks like this is the exit. Let's go. Guys, I'm already going. Hmm, but which way is the way? Boulders on? Wait, what? Someone has to turn that machine off. I guess it's going to be me since I'm already rolling up this hill. I'm rolling up this hill trying not to die. With no promises. Okay, um, I'm going to turn it off, guys. I'm going to turn it off. Done, so. Come on, guys. This is the way. No kidding. I was already up here. Oh, wow. Look at this. I'm ahead of everyone else. I love that. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be the epic boss battle with John Pork. I just know it. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> I knew you talked. Why are you doing this, John Pork? Seriously. Because you kids deserve it. No, we don't. Let us go, John. Yeah, John Pork, you psycho. You want to leave? You're going to have to get past me. <laughs> Quit snorting. It's gross. Uh-oh, get up on this block before the lava kills you. It's rising. Is Timmy okay? Yeah, he's always okay. Timmy's invincible. He's like a cat. He's nine lives. All right, time to put the smack down on John Pork. Watch out for that lava. Oh, boy. Wait, what? Did he just send out pork minions? Little porkers? Take him down. Take him down. Uh-oh, time to get up on the block. Oh, he died in the lava. You killed your own little piglet. That's just wrong, John Pork. Wrong. Time to put the smack down on your kneecaps, John Pork. He's trying to stomp on us. He's rude. Where's his life? I mean, I need to know. Defeat evil John Pork. Oh, here comes a pork minion. Oh, Dizzy's got one of her own. Attack him. He's dizzy. Dizzy, 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 John Pork. Dizzy, 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 John Pork. I Ooh. might make you into something. You know that you're dead. No. <laughs> we did it! Yay, Molly! Did someone say bacon that's making me hungry? <laughs> Does this mean we get to go home? And also, I like scrambled eggs with my bacon! I think so. Timmy, you're clueless, okay? I'm sorry, but you really are. I think you need to go back to school and... Wait, what's that? Um, it's an incoming call. Oh, no. Don't tell me it's from... John Pork! John is calling. Shh. Well, I mean, it's kind of rude to not answer. Molly, don't answer it! I'm answering it. I'm answering it. Hello? This is Molly. How can I help you? John, are you there? John Pork. No! Where are we going? You chose to answer it, you crazy woman! <laughs> Thank you for answering my call. You brought me back to life. Wait, what? No, that can't be right. Now you will all be my prisoners. <laughs> Well, I don't think so, because, like, you know, we can just go right under those bars. We're small enough, right? What have you done? Well, you can be a prisoner here if you want, Timmy, but we're not. Hey, we got the bad ending! Oh, that's cool. Dun, dun, dun! John Pork. A stormy night! Another scary, scary story. I cannot believe my sister Daisy talked me into this again. Where is she? Ooh, I see you. Daisy, I did that one while you were in Texas. <gasps> you did it all by yourself? Are you serious? Yeah, I did. It was super scary, but the ending is amazing. Will you play it again so I can too? Yeah, or you could play it alone on your channel. Uh, I don't know if I could do that. What? You're afraid? Are you serious right now? Um, well, okay, I'm a little afraid, but not really, because I'm the one that always comes up with these games. Um, okay, yeah, but do you only want to play them if I do? Oh, are you saying that you're a chicken? No, I'm not. I'm not a chicken. Come on, I'll show you. Two tickets, please. Daisy, I already bought our tickets. Duh, this is the age of Google. You just Google the show and then buy it. Ugh, nobody buys tickets at the door. I do. Ah! My 
Charlie, that's another player. What are you yelling about? Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> a stormy night. Are you seriously going to sing through this whole thing? Maybe. Nick and Gloria had enjoyed their two-week vacation at the lake and were just packing up the car for the long ride back home. I wish we could stay another week, Gloria said longingly. Yeah, me too, Nick said in agreement. Okay, I'm just going to tell you guys right now, you're going to die. Molly, that's not nice. Ooh, they have a nice car. Okay, it's not nice, but it's the truth. I'm trying to warn them. Don't do it! Nick started the car and turned on the radio to listen to the weather forecast. If you're traveling on Route 23 or 17 tonight, expect severe thunderstorms and flooding in most areas. The radio blared. Aw, oh, man, are you serious? Nick responded. It's okay, honey. We'll be fine, Gloria assured him. No! Listen to Molly! I played lots of these games. You're never, ever fine. I'm gonna jump on your hood. Boing, 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 boing. Oh, brother. How did I get stuck with her as a sister? They pulled out onto the road and headed toward Route 17. There won't be <coughs> as much flooding on the 17. So we'll take that, Nick said. Sounds good to me, poopy head. <laughs> I like Gloria. They both cracked up. Apparently, she thinks that poopy head is funny. <laughs> it is kind of funny. What's gonna happen next? About After about an hour of driving, the clouds began moving in. Storm is coming, Nick said to Gloria. Yeah, looks like it's gonna be a rough one, Gloria responded. Okay, you guys could just go back and stay another day, like camp or whatever. Uh, just stay where you are, I'm telling you. This is gonna end badly. You don't know that, Molly. Maybe it'll be a happy ending. <laughs> You're funny, Daisy. Seriously. Uh-oh. Soon the rain had started and visibility was getting lower and lower. It was also getting dark. Nick and Gloria braced themselves for the worst. Can I just tell you what I don't like about these games, Daisy? You're interrupting the story, Molly. I know, but I hate the jump scares. You know when that giant scary thing like jumps up on your screen and, and you aren't expecting it and it makes you scream? Yeah, that is pretty creepy. That's what I love about it. Oh, no. Just no. Wow, this part of the ride is taking a long time. There we go. The rain quickly turned into a dangerous downpour. Nick gripped the steering wheel hard as he struggled to see through the blinding rain. Then suddenly... No! Ah! A deer jumped out into the road, right in front of them. Nick hit the brakes and spun off the road and hit a tree with the rear bumper, smashing the taillight. But they were okay. And the deer... You crazy deer! Why are you in the road? It ran off into the woods, it said Molly. Give me a ride, deer! Whee! <laughs> you can't ride a deer, Daisy. Nick pulled over and got out to check the damage before getting back into the car. It's just a taillight and a scratch on the bumper, he told Gloria. Oh, thank heavens! That was frightening, she replied. Well, Molly, you kind of turned into Gloria there. I know, I was trying to sound like her. Yes, it was, Nick responded, then slowly drove on. He's got a blanket over his head. Honey, we're pulling over at the first place we come to so we can wait out the storm. It's just getting worse and worse, Nick said. You don't have to convince me. I'm all in with that, Gloria agreed. Wait, I didn't check and see what state they're from. The Majestic State. Okay, guys, tell me which one the Majestic State is from. I'm not sure. After another half an hour of driving, Gloria spotted something up ahead. Look! I think there's a diner up there, she said. Awesome, let's just hope it's open all night, Nick replied, half joking. <laughs> Nick, you jokester. Nick is kind of funny, right? When they pulled up to the diner, the neon sign said, open. Gloria and Nick let out a sigh of relief. Yes, Gloria replied happily. Thank heavens, Nick replied. Oh, they went to mom's diner. Sounds delicious. I, said, I know, Molly. I don't think we can go in, though. What? There's no tables or chairs. Oh, how are they going to eat anything? Okay, whatever. Not very realistic. The two covered themselves with Nick's raincoat and hustled into the diner. Oh, I thought that was a blanket. It's a raincoat. 
Well, I guess I should say this now before we all die. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. <laughs> We're not gonna die, Molly. Okay, well, still subscribe, though. Okay, um, now there's tables and chairs in here. How interesting. The diner was very nice inside. The owners introduced themselves as a married couple, couple named Sylvia and Josh. They seemed to be the sweetest people. Sylvia handed them menus as they talked about the storm. Yeah, this storm is crazy, Sylvia said. Um, does anybody else notice that Sylvia is kind of wearing, like, a hospital uniform? Mmm. The plot thickens! I'm helping make milkshakes! Daisy, come on! I'll be make milkshakes, cheapers. After a, sh um, a short time, Sylvia took their order and went back behind the counter to help Josh make the food. Wow, they're so nice, Gloria said. I know, right? Josh agreed. Sylvia was back with their orders in just a few minutes. Wow, that was f so fast, Gloria said. Surprised. That's what we, we're we known for, fast service and great food, Sylvia said Happ happily. She went back behind the counter with Josh. After they had finished eating, Sylvia slipped by to take their plates and fill their coffee cups while leaving a bill on the table. Gloria and Nick barely noticed. They sat for an hour or so until the storm passed. Then... Gloria and Nick left money on the table along with a very nice tip. Thank they thanked Sylvia and Josh for the great food and service and headed out the door. Josh and Sylvia waved goodbye enthusiastically. Well, after a terrifying experience with the deer and the storm, that was a wonderful way to put it all behind us, Gloria said happily. Agreed! Totally! What a great couple and diner, Nick responded. The sun was already coming up. Wow, they stayed at the diner for an hour and it was all night. <laughs> they needed some gas, so at the first station they pulled in. A man came out to greet them and Nick asked to fill it up and he began to pump the gas. Gloria told him that they had just eaten at Sylvia and Josh's diner. Josh and Sylvia, you two are way too young to know about them, the man said. Oh, Gloria replied, well, we just ate at their diner. They were so nice, Gloria responded. That's impossible. They died over 25 years ago. What? Diner burned down with a minute? The man replied, no wonder the diner was empty. Oh, my gosh. Josh and, Sil Josh and Gloria are ghosts. I'm not even looking at the screen. Something's gonna jump out! Ah! Something, something, something. Not yet, Molly. Gloria and Nick were in shock. Anyway, you must be talking about some other diner, the man said. Nick paid the man and he went back inside. The two got back into the car and sat there in total silence for a good five minutes. I'm looking in your car, guys. I don't want anything to be in there. No, no, no. Nothing's in there, Molly. There's no way we got it wrong, Nick said quietly. We're going back, aren't we, Gloria asked. I think we need to, honey, unless you want to live with thinking we're both crazy, Nick said, half joking. Let's do it, Gloria replied. No, Molly, I think this is a bad idea. Nick and Gloria drove all the way back to the diner. They pulled in the parking lot and parked. There were only silence. After a few minutes, they both stepped out of the car and walked over to the building. Indeed, the diner had burned to the ground a very, very long time ago. The only table left standing was the one they had eaten at, and there, on the burned remains of the table, was their food bill and the money they had left for Sylvia and Josh. Oh my gosh! That is creepy! Okay, this one's even creeping me out, Molly. Okay. Ah! I knew it was coming. Why did you do that to me? Why? Oh, no, excuse me. <laughs> Molly, is that a laugh or a cop cry? Both. <laughs> I knew I was going to do it. I knew it. Okay, Molly can't talk right now. She's too freaked out. But I want to say thanks so much for watching today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And we'll see you in our next video. <laughs> Molly, seriously, it's over. Bye, guys.
much she's at summer camp, I can live just like she does in her awesome house with, well, her sort of annoying sister, but whatever. But still keep all of her stuff, like her iPad and her iPhone, and and have her room. <laughs> My plan's gonna work perfectly. Hey, Daisy. Marley, what are you doing here? You're supposed to still be at summer camp. Um, yeah, I missed you so much. I decided to come home. I was really homesick. Wait, what? You were? Wow, summer camp's really changed you, Molly. Yeah, I'm gonna turn over a brand new leaf. I'm gonna be the best sister in the whole world. Oh, wow, Molly, <laughs> Yeah, right, you're so full of it. <laughs> I don't believe you for a single second. Well, you just wait and see. Hey, Mom. Oh, hi, Molly. How was summer camp? Oh, it was perfect. Wait, why are you home early? I missed you so much, Mom. I just I just had to be where you are. Plus, I didn't really serve healthy food there and too many cupcakes and stuff. Wait, what? <laughs> are you for real now? Too many cupcakes? That doesn't sound like you. You love cupcakes. Yeah, but I'm turning over a new leaf. I'm only eating healthy food from here on out. Molly, are you feeling okay? Yeah, feeling great. This new life is gonna be perfect. I <sighs> just gotta trick them into thinking that I'm the best daughter ever. And then when Molly comes back, they'll totally tell her that she has to get lost and that me, Polly, can stay forever because I'm much better behaved. <laughs> My plan's gonna work perfectly. Daisy, since your sister's home, you have to share the computer. Ah, <sighs> okay. And also, if you could take out the trash. Don't worry, Daisy. I'll take out the trash for you. Really? Wow. Molly, that's so nice. Are you sure you didn't get a concussion? I'm fine. I just want you to be super happy. Ew. This trash smells horrible. Yeah, that's from baby Kira's dirty, stinky diapers. She poo-pooed a lot this week. Ew. I don't want to take this outside. You did promise Daisy you'd do that chore for her. You're right, Mom. I'll go take it out. Wow. Molly really has turned over a new leaf. <laughs> it's working so well. They don't even suspect that I'm Polly and not Molly. Hey, Molly. What's up? Oh, hi. Um, I must know you from somewhere. <laughs> You're being so silly, Molly. Why are you back early from summer camp? And why didn't you call me first thing when you got home to tell me all about it? Um, um, uh, wait, what was your name again? Uh, hold on a minute. I have to put down these poop diapers. They smell horrible. What are you talking about? What's my name? Did you seriously forget about your best friend while you were at summer camp? Oh, uh, best friend. Yeah, uh, no, I didn't forget about you. You can't even remember my name, Molly. I feel like, I feel like you forgot all about me. I understand if you don't want to be my BFF anymore. I... I, I'm just going to be so sad for a really long time. Well, um, eh, uh, well, no, I'll still be your best friend. Just tell me what your name is. Molly, it's Brookie. You really did forget all about me. <laughs> Brookie, wait. Oh, boy, I really messed that one up. It's okay. I'll buy her Starbucks tomorrow, and she'll be okay. <sighs> Being Molly is harder than I thought. She's so naughty, and I have to be so good. Hey, Daisy, um, do you need help with your homework? Homework? It's the middle of summer. Molly, what's gotten into you? You're acting really strange. Me? Strange? Never. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to go to my room. Oh, no. She's kind of on to me. Well, at least Molly's at summer camp, and she has no idea I'm taking over her life. Okay, Molly, are you ready for the ride of your life? I can't wait. Whoa, are you driven the tour? Because you keep running into everything. Well, not really before summer camp, but it doesn't matter because at summer camp, you don't even need your driver's license. Um, okay, if you say so. Whee! <laughs> uh, you ran into the food tent, which normally would be bad, but hey, free snack time. Ooh, what do we got? Ice cream, soup. Oh, wait, no, that's just soup. That's not ice cream. I was kind of hoping it was ice cream. I think I'll have some soup and maybe a sandwich because that sounds delicious. 
Hey, don't run into me. Sorry, I'm just trying to back up. Ow! Oh my gosh. You really are a terrible driver. Kumbaya, da da, kumbaya. Ugh, you're so annoying. I'm just singing the camp songs that everybody else is singing. Okay, whatever you say. Oh wow, look, it's lights out already. It's getting really late. I hope you're having a good time at summer camp, Sarah. If you'd leave me alone, I would be. Huh, she's such a grump monster. Now, where did she put her iPad? Totally want to watch YouTube. Ooh, or maybe I could find her iPhone and watch TikToks. Aha! Now, let's log into her TikTok account. This is going to be so easy to guess. I bet her password is... I love Luke. <laughs> oh my god, it actually worked! She's so lame. <laughs> oh my god, that TikTok is so funny! <laughs> I'm probably going to stay up all night watching that. OMG. Uh, Molly, it's almost time for lights out. You have to put your iPhone away. Who made you boss anyway? Um, well, I'm just telling you the rules since you seem to forget them all the time. Um, yeah, you're probably right, Daisy. I put the phone away. Let's just go to sleep. Wait, what? You actually listen to me? Okay, who are you? You must be an alien that's abducted my sister. Now, how would a green, weird Martian look exactly like your sister? I don't know. Maybe they're smarter than us. And they know how to look like us or something. Haven't you ever seen Men in Black before? Um, no. And I don't care about that. But I do care about the fact that you don't think I'm your sister. How could you think something so horrible about me? Seriously, I'm just trying to be the best sister to you ever, Daisy. And you're making me feel so bad about it. Oh, I never thought of it that way. Something just seems a little off, but you're probably right. Everybody can change, right? Yeah, exactly. I've changed, all right. <laughs> well, Daisy, good night. Uh, Molly, why are you trying to sleep in my bed? Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> that's right, I'm on the top bunk. Yeah, that's right. How can you forget what bed you sleep in? Um, I guess I was at summer camp too long. <laughs> good night. I wonder what Molly's doing at summer camp. <laughs> I'm busy taking over her life. Oh, wow, that was a great night's sleep. No one ever tells you how good you're going to sleep at summer camp. I guess it's all the activities we do. I wonder how everyone's doing back home. Probably not as great as I'm doing here. Wow, look at that sunrise. Summer camp is amazing. with my new family. Mmm, something smells delicious. Good morning, sleepyhead. I thought you'd sleep all day. Oh, no, <laughs> not me. Ooh, pancakes. Yeah, they're for you. I even put extra butter on them for you. Ooh, mmm, butter on my pancakes? Yes, please. Aha, I knew it. You what? <laughs> that you were gonna make me pancakes for breakfast? Yeah, that's a pretty nice thing to do, huh? No, you're not Molly. What What are you talking about? Molly never eats butter on her pancakes. She only eats peanut butter and soda. What? Ew, that sounds disgusting. And that's exactly why you're my imposter. You're not my real sister. Ha, ah, home sweet home. So glad to be back. Mom, Dad, Daisy, Baby Kira. Whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Molly, is that you? Um, yeah, who else would I be? Wait a minute, who's that? And why do they look exactly like me? Hi, I'm Polly, your identical twin sister. Say what? Molly, she was trying to take over your life while you were at summer camp. Well, I was a much better sister, wasn't I? I took out the trash for you. I ate the pancakes that you offered, even with the butter, and... Oh my gosh, you're not for real. You're not Molly. Yeah, you can say that again. I'm Molly. Well, I could be Molly if you let me. I want to live here and take your sister's place. I'll be a much better sister. What? No, you won't. <laughs> she Molly, she kind of would be. Daisy? 
Uh, but still in all, you're a fake, a fraud. You're not really Molly, so sorry, you can't be Molly. You have to be Polly. What? How'd you know my name? I just figured your name was Polly. You seem like a Polly. Yeah, she really does. Now, you have to leave. Wait, do you have a place to live? Huh, yeah, but it's not as nice as this house. Well, maybe you should go back there because you can't take over my life, Polly. Okay, but you just wait. When you least expect it, Molly, I will take over your life. It will be mine! Okay, Molly, get out of my house, seriously. Molly, I never thought I'd see this, but I'm so glad you're home. Me too, Daisy. Me too.